what do we do to get a better night's sleep? Dark room, very yeah. dark room. Uh, yeah. How about a sound machine? Um, so, yeah, so, so basically, this is this is a whole area now that, that's calling good sleep hygiene, mm -hmm. and so there are a number of things that you need to do before you go to sleep to get yourself, you know, in the in the right sort of mindset. So, so minimal light exposure for at least half an hour before you go to bed. I mean, it's extraordinary. The last thing that many of us do before we go to bed is is stand in a really brightly lit bathroom. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. you're cleaning our teeth, and in fact, that's the worst thing. We need to have as as, as low a light as we, we you, you can tolerate before you go to bed, and that'll because what what light will do was increase levels of alertness and then then delay sleep. Mm. Another important trick is, of course, the bedroom must be dark, and you must stop all the texting, the the gaming, Come the iPad, yeah. all of that. Yeah, turn all those computers off, because um, that's that's doing two things: the, the light from the screen is increasing alertness. It's probably not going to have a big effect on shifting the clock, although we don't know that yet. People are working on it. But certainly, even relatively low levels of light, as you get from those screens, will increase levels of alertness. Um, and so, so stop doing all that stuff. Um, dark room, a little bit cool. Uh, many people's bedrooms are overheated. And that's kind of interesting, because that's been associated with what normally happens is you slide into sleep. Uh, is that you drop um, about a degree, just under a degree in core body temperature. Hmm. And if you block that small drop in body temperature, um, you find it more difficult to go off to sleep. And so, so for example, there are conditions where the, the blood vessels of the hands and feet uh, constrict. And that means you can't shunt blood from the core where it's hot to the periphery mm -hmm. and lose that heat. And when you warm up people's hands and feet who've got that condition, their, their sleep improves. So, you know, our grandparents were telling us, you know, wear bed socks and, and mittens. And that was to promote the blood vessels of the, of the periphery to di dilate, shunting blood from the core to the periphery. You lose that little bit of heat and you can slide into sleep more easily. So, hmm. so, so make sure the bedroom isn't too hot.